Hello dear students, I am Shu Kumar S. Saladde, Assistant Professor, Department of Pharmacology, Shu Lingishar College of Pharmacy, Almala. Today we learn regarding the preparation of physiological salt solutions and its significance. So, physiological salt solutions can be defined as it is a artificially prepared solutions to keep the isolated tissues or organ alive during the to conduct the experiment or in utero pharmacology study. So, during the in utero pharmacology study, so we want to create the you know, external environment that was similar to the internal environment of the animal. So, that was created so with the help of the instrument and with the help of the physiological salt solutions. So, physiological salt solutions it is helpful for to maintain the life of the tissues and organ under the study. So, physiological salt solutions acts as substitute to the tissue fluid. So, dear students, the tissue fluid is helpful for to maintain the life of tissue because it can provide the essential materials to the tissue and same work can done or carried out by a physiological salt solution. The content of physiological salt solutions carries according to tissue according to animal was taken for study or to conduct the experiments. So, dear students here various physical salt solutions are there. So, their selection should be according to type of tissues and type of the animals. For example, when you are conducting the experiment on the skeletal muscles of frog, we should be use the frog ringer solutions. If you are taken the rat uterus to study the uh, uh, uterus contraction property of drug on that time, you should be use the d jolon solution. So, like that the solution should be considered or prepared according to the type of tissues and animals. So, physiological salt solutions provide isotonicity that is the similar to the tissue fluid or blood, then nutrition, whatever the essential nutrition is required for tissue regarding sodium, calcium, potassium, glucose, same can be provided by physiological salt solutions for normal functioning of the that isolated tissues or organ and also acts as a buffer when drug is added. Okay, so, that is it is helpful for to maintain the pH of that environment nearly 7.2 to 7.4. So, that pH is the ideal to conduct the in utero pharmacological study. If any alteration in the pH, then the organ was fail or organ was die. Because if pH increases, it can create the condition is called respiratory alkalosis. So, that condition is also responsible irreversible death of the organ and tissues. If pH decreases less than 7.2, it can cause the conditions like respiratory acidosis. Then also the tissue is failed due to hyperactivity or acidosis. So, regarding physiological salt solutions, it can exert the same osmotic pressure as similar to the interstitial fluid. So, fluid it can having the certain pressure. So, that pressure is helpful for the movement of the solute and movement of the drug and same osmotic pressure was exerted by physiological salt solution. So, now we learn regarding the compositions of physiological salt solutions. So, here the physiological salt solutions are prepared by using the constituents like sodium chloride, potassium chloride, 
magnesium sulfate, sodium dihydrogen phosphate, potassium dihydrogen phosphate, glucose, sodium bicarbonate, 1 m or 1 molecular weight calcium chloride solution, sodium lactate, then aerating gas. So, what are the contents or constituents to adding the during the preparations of physiological salt solutions? Here is mentioned as per 10 liters of the distilled water. So, dear students, so when you are preparing the following physiological salt solutions, you add this much of amount for 10 liters only. Okay. So, the physiological salt solutions are various type. So, those are frog ringer solutions, Krebs Hanslate, Twyred, Ringer Lock, D Jalon, and Artificial Cerebrospinal Fluid. Okay, so these are selected on the basis of the type of tissues and type of the organ should be isolated. For example, the frog ringer solutions was prepared by taking 65 gram of sodium chloride, 1.4 gram of potassium chloride. 0.65 gram of sodium dihydrogen phosphate, 20 gram of glucose, 4 gram of sodium bicarbonate and 10.8 ml of 1 molecular weight calcium chloride and also it can supply it with the aerations or air. So, these are all are added for preparations of the 10 liter frog ringer solutions and it is prepared in the distilled water. So, regarding the toilet it was prepared by adding 80 gram of sodium chloride, 2 gram of potassium chloride, 2.6 gram of magnesium sulfate and 0.65 gram of sodium dihydrogen phosphate, 10 gram of glucose, 10 gram of sodium bicarbonate, then 18 ml of 1 molecular weight calcium chloride and 95% oxygen or along with 5% carbon dioxide or you can use the pure oxygen or carbon dioxide okay so the ringer lack solutions it can prepare by using 90 gram sodium chloride for 10 liters 4.2 gram of potassium chloride 10 gram of glucose 5 gram of sodium bicarbonate then 10.8 ml of one molecular weight calcium chloride and you can supply the pure oxygens so like that so various physical salt solutions are prepared with the help of the these tables. So now we learn regarding the significance or importance of constituents. The sodium chloride was added for to maintain the excitability, contactility, rhythmicity of the muscles and nerves. Actually, sodium chloride is a acts as a depolarizing agent. It can regulate the depolarizations. And depolarization is required for the opening of calcium channels. So, as the calcium channel is open in the tissues or cells, the calcium can accumulate it. Then accumulated calcium, it can enhance the functions of the cells or it can cause the contractility, it can cause the conduction of the impulses. And here potassium chloride is added the purpose of relaxation of the tissues. So, the relaxation of the tissues is one of the major step to conduct the experiments because if tissues is not properly relaxed then whatever the results are produced so that should be inaccurate so that's why the potassium chloride is added as a relaxing agent and here magnesium sulfate was added the purpose of to cause the contractions of the smooth muscles and Sodium dihydrogen phosphate, potassium dihydrogen phosphate, sodium bicarbonate. So, they are used as a buffer system. They are helpful for to maintain the pH of the physiological salt solutions. Or if any additions of drug, if the pH was changes means it cannot be changes due to presence of the these ions. And here the glucose was added the purpose of source of energy or ATP. And sodium lactate is added in the ringer lock it is a salt of sodium salt of lactic acid it is the source of the bicarbonate once again the bicarbonate it is helpful for it to adjust the ph so that's why it is also buffer systems and irritating gas is supplied frequently 
or continuously for providing oxygen to the tissue because without oxygen the tissues or isolated organ cannot be survived so like that so these are the various constants should be used for preparations of the various type of the physiological salt solutions so dear students so during the preparations of the various physiological salt solutions the following points should be carefully noted regarding the quantity of ingredients added you should be add accurate quantity of ingredients or constituents for preparations of the desired physiological salt solution especially for calcium and potassium because calcium is required for the contractility or to cause the contractions of the muscle in sufficient concentrations of calcium where the muscle was not contracted even so that drug can cause the muscle contraction so that's why we can got the false result or inaccurate results or non producible result so that's why you should be add the calcium amount it should be accurate as mentioned in the previous table and potassium is required for the relaxations if any variation in the potassium then muscles are not properly relaxed if you adding less amount then muscles are not properly relaxed they are present in the contractions once again you can got the inaccuracy in the result if it is more once again the muscles are more relaxed even additions of drug they do not be contracted by presence of more potassium so that's why so when you are preparing the physiological salt solution should be kept in the mind so whatever the weight are mentioned in the previous table that much only you can add it not a more or not a less to got the accuracy in the studies the second point the solution should be prepared carefully with pure material and it should be used within 24 hours and stored in a cool place during the conduct of the experiment because so what are the constituents especially that is the glucose is present in the physiological salt solution it is create a favorable conditions for the growth of the microorganisms and the presence of microorganisms in physiological salt solutions it can alter the activity of the drug by neutralizing the drug or it can cause the death of the isolating tissues and organ so that's why so whatever you are preparing the solution so that should be prepared by using the pure materials and that should be used for 24 hours after preparation and during the experiment that should be keep in the cool place the next is so during the experiment so water solutions is added to the organ bath where isolated organ or tissue was kept that should be frequently changed because so during the isolations or washing of the tissue after isolation there should be keep in the physiological salt solutions for at least 30 minute to 45 minute okay so prolong present in the same solution due to aeration the ph is altered especially it can cause the either respiratory acidosis or alkalosis in both condition the activity of the tissue was declined or failed so that's why you should be frequently changed within 30 minute you should be at least four time you should be change the physiological salt solutions otherwise whatever result you required so that result cannot be produced due to alteration of the ph so like that the these points should be carefully noted during the preparations of the various physiological salt solutions so now we learn regarding the significance of various type of physiological salt solutions first ringer lock solutions it is used when experiments conducted on the rabbit herd perfusion then frog ringer solution it is used when experiments was conducted by using frog rectus abdominis muscle or frog heart and as well as leech dorsals for study of the effect of the drug on the muscles 
regarding thyroid solutions it should be used when expand conducted on the rabbit intestines and guinea pig ilum then d jolon solutions it should be preferably used so when experiment was conducted on the uterus or duodenum and colon experiments and krebs ancillary solutions it is used when expands was conducted on the isolated tracheal chain preparation from guinea pig and rt stiffs preparation from rabbit so like that so these are the various tissues so they are used for to in utero pharmacology study then according to tissues and according to part of the animals you should be use the desired type of the physiological sources if it is wrong then all results are in accuracy incorrect or universally it cannot be accepted even the results was not produced due to change of the physiological solution so that's why the selections of the correct physiological source solutions for to conduct the in utero pharmacology it is the main step if any alteration it will be reflect on the result so these are the references we are used here to prepare this video tutorials regarding the preparations of physiological salt solution and its significance thank you dear students